Hey, welcome back to the shop. Got a little project today. The uh, my little thirty dollar Walmart special grinder that I bought twenty years ago. The bearings in it broke. The bearings in it broke. You can see that's kind of how I found it, and that bearing is on the armature shaft, and uh, it kind of turned loose. So anyway, we're going to replace that bearing. We don't need to lose that key. Oh, lost it. We're going to replace this bearing, and we're going to put a little grease in the back bearing. It's fine. It just probably needs a little grease. And bins we're in here, we'll replace the grease in this one, or replace the bearing in this end. It's, it's making some racket. It sounds pretty dry. So I'll just go ahead and start with, with this here. And this is a pretty quality piece of equipment. There's a really foul-mouthed Canadian guy that does a lot of tool reviews. And you can see this is epoxied in, or lacquer, whatever they used. Really good up here. These are all staked really nice. Got some extra uh, nylon cord that's been epoxied down, or whatever down. Nice balance grind marks. I mean, this was, for being Black & Decker cheapo, this was made pretty good when it was made. So these are RR bearings. That means there's a, a shield of, or a seal of sorts on either end. And like I said, this bearing is, is probably still pretty good. And I'm just gonna take my Zacto knife. Glad you get over here and man the grease gun for me. Yes, sir. I was about gonna write my name. Oh, you were? Well, got my helper boy out here in the shop with me today. From Dad. <laughs> and this is just a standard grease gun, and this is a U joint needle. Be still till I tell you. Okay, a little bit. Whoa! Woo! A little bit more. Just a hair. Whoa! A little bit. Whoa! Put a little bit over here. A little bit. Okay, that ought to be enough. Okay, hands off. All right. We'll just take that extra and put it down in here. Because we'll have to pump all this full of grease anyway. We'll put this little shield or seal, whatever they, you want to call it, we'll put that back on there. Seal. Is it a seal? Yeah. Well, that ain't much of a seal. It's a bearing that keeps the grease in. Oh, it's just a seal to keep the grease in the bearing? Yeah. How'd you get so smart? My brains. Oh, with your brains? Yes. Okay. Okay, the front bearing on this cost me $3.36 down at the bearing supply house. And it is a, uh, what size is it? It's a 608 bearing, 2RS. And I think this is like a skateboard bearing or something as well. That goes on there good, and it goes up in this housing. And then this retainer plate goes on it like so. Can we put a little grease up in there? Yep, we're going to put a lot of grease up in there. Yes. Put in the tires. You don't put grease in tars. <laughs> in the cars. On the in the front. Oh, in the in the front wheel bearings. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put more in there than we do in the wheel bearings. How'd you get so smart? Do I even have to say it? <clears throat> do I even have to say it? I guess. Okay, give me a squirt of grease. A big squirt? A big squirt. Okay, more. Keep a squirting. Keep going. I'll tell you when. Just keep going. Okay, that ought to be enough for now. You forgot one thing. 
one spike. Well, that's where this the pinion gear goes. We got to get the pinion gear in there first before we put grease in there, or Daddy will get it all over himself. So let's go. You want to go ahead and put that in there now? You reckon? Yeah. Okay. So these gears are in pretty good shape for being as old as they are. Uh, this thing's never been treated nice, but you know it's all held up pretty good for what it is. In there. We will in a minute. Grease gun. Yep. Hands up. Are you going to shoot me with the grease gun? Yep. Then you probably better reconsider that. Grease up. Put it down. Put your grease up. Uh huh. Pick it up. Put it back on the workbench. So here's our uh, snout taken apart. Pretty nice looking, well machined little shaft on here. For the for the price, this was uh, you know pretty well machined. And this bearing is a six thousand LLUC three or something, but it's a six thousand series bearing. Can't feature how this plastic housing has lasted as well and long as it has, but it's it's lasted well. Probably fiberglass reinforced plastic. knock this back together off camera but you get the idea so we got us a nice little woodruff key that goes in there and it's not too ter terribly worn and uh, I'm actually machined gear you can see some machining marks on there plenty of meat left on the teeth Daddy's rolled that key. Well. There we go. Got it the third time. Now I gotta get this snap ring back on there without flinging it across the shop at warp speed. <laughs> That's not very funny. Yeah, they go 100 mile an hour across the shop when I go. Okay, let's. Whoop, we left the grease gun somewhere. Where did we put the grease gun? Uh, oh, Mr. Grease Gun. <laughs> there it is. Right here across the room, 100 mile an hour. Can I do the racing? Here. Let me put it in the. Come on, let's go. Keep it going. Uh, uh. We need to go 100 miles across the shop. A little more. There ought to be enough. Well, maybe a little over here. The gold pump. One more? Uh, maybe two. I think that'll be good. No, maybe three. I think we've got enough. We buried the whole thing. Yep. Let's see if he can turn. 
I'm sure it can. Yep. Yep. Can I try? No. Okay. Okay. Fling across the room, fun mile an hour. Yeah, I don't want a hundred mile an hour fling across the room. Then broke. Yeah. And all the pieces lost. That'd be bad. Gentlemen, that's not my new car. That big one is over there. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, huh? I don't think there's very many ladies watch this this show. Why? Well, Mama does. Because we make her. Can I help you do this? You are helping me do this. No, screw those on. Oh. Okay, let me turn the camera off. So we're about ready to put this back together. And, uh... Rather than try to take these brush retainers out to get the brushes pulled back, I'm just going to take and slip a piece of wire around them. And just tie them back up out of the way. Elijah. Sorry. You going outside? Yeah. Okay. Stay away from the road. Yes, sir. And this is just some wire that I had laying around, stripped the insulation off of it, took the strands out of the middle, and because these brush retainers are little bitty screws, and the chances are pretty good that I'm going to fling one of those if I tried to take that apart. Easy Japanese.
Well, so here we go. With, that's it back together. And that sounded better than it has in a year or two. Uh, I wish I still had the shield for that, but that shield's probably been missing since Bill Clinton was in the Oval Office playing the harmonica. So, there you go. There's a $7 repair on a $20 grinder that I bought 35 years ago. Hope you all learned something. You all drive safe. And watch for deer. And watch for deer. Unplug it for me. Yes, sir. Thank you. Go hang us up where it belongs. That time I didn't get in the picture. That time you didn't do well, the camera's still rolling. Let's kill the camera. Wave. Hi. Wave. Put your hand up, wave. Bye. <laughs>